Being joined by NBA veteran Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is uh, is in camp trying to make the team. Welcome, man. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Doing well. Uh, wh what made you pick here uh, to continue your career? Well, I mean, um, I think everybody knows the plan uh, for, for the Warriors going into the season and what they're trying to do. And that's what, you know, that's what everybody wants to accomplish in their career. So at the end of the day, you just want to win a championship. Wow. And I feel like I can, you know, I can help. So that's the biggest part. So when I got news you were coming to town, I look at this roster. They got Loon, Sarich, and this is first year. But I was like, they don't got no Rudy Gay. <laughs> you know, that athletic wing. Um, how, how much does that excite you? The fact that when you look at the roster, it's not, you know, duplicates like yourself. Well, I just, um, like I said, I just felt like I, I can help. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm very familiar with the guys on the team. Even even Chris, who's who's just coming to the team, I think, um, and also with that process, I think I can be helpful in that, just knowing both sides and, and being here. But um, you know, it's just it's I want to win. You know, yes, and, sir. And I've been around a lot of uh, young young teams trying to figure it out, but it's time for me to be around some veterans that have one plan in mind. So um, I'm just I'm ready. Rudy, I, I mean, you've been in the league for what's this your 16th or 17th year? 18. 18. Look at him. What's uh? What's the key to staying in the league 18 years? Man, being being flexible, being able to adjust, you know, coming to the league, I was you know, the guy that, that, that they depended on to score and, and, and go out there and compete um, um, in, the scoring, in the scoring category. But, you know, my games has changed so much. You know, injuries, a lot of things happen in between. But, you know, just got to be able to just be flexible, be uh, be like water, as they say. So, you know, we're on the outside looking in. You've been in the league 18 years. When you would play this Warrior team, is it more than just basketball, like the synergy they had? And how important is that? Do, you know, do you watch or play them like, man, they got it, not just on the court, but that stuff that I feel like you need yeah. off the court to take, uh, to get to the mountaintop. Yeah. It just seemed different. I was here from the beginning. I remember Monte Ellis and oh, Al, my God. Al Harrington, <laughs> Stephen Jackson. And we Baron believe. Davis. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've been here through all the, all the changes in this organization and, you know, just coming in and watching stuff and then coming from there and, and then the championship years, I just saw a team that just had it all together. They they knew each other, they knew each other's strengths and, and they played off of that. Let me uh let me play devil's advocate for a sec. Uh how the, how can the Warriors win it all when they're as old as they are? <laughs> <laughs> I mean they said that before they won the first one. They were too young. So like Really, it's it's all about clicking at the right time. You know, um, this is a team that knows how to win. You know, um, last year was you know they obviously fell short of what they wanted, but the year before it was the same question. Yeah. You know, so um, you know I think any any championship caliber team is going to have questions going into to the season, but it's all about you know who can win when it counts. So for all the fans in Dub Nation, let's say I'm the, the coach put you in. Tell Dub Nation what to, what they're getting from Rudy Gay when you step on the court. See, that's that's the question I can't even answer. Uh -oh. You know, um, you know, I haven't I haven't practiced. We haven't done anything. I haven't talked to Steve at all about you know my role or whatever. Or if I do, you know, I really don't need to talk to anybody. It's just being out there playing with the guys. So mm. I know what I can bring. I can bring the guy that can you know pretty much do whatever the team needs at that point in time. Yeah, and I mean, also can still put the ball in the hole too. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. I can still do that a little bit. A little uh, bit. A little hell. bit. No, I mean people forget when you came into the league, you were not that you still aren't, but you were a dynamic, <laughs> Go dynamic say player. Go ahead and say man. it, man. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, like what would be your what would be your perfect role on this team? And I know, like, again, yeah, I know you haven't practiced, yeah. but uh, maybe just a general. What would be a good year for Rudy Gay? Um. You know, just a guy that can, um, you know, facilitate whether it's offense or defense. Um, defensively, I can switch with a lot of guys, and it makes us more versatile in that situation. And also, um, offensively, a guy that can just just knows the game, knows where to be and, and, and who to get the ball to. And like I said before, can still put the ball in the hole. So, you know, um, just uh, just keep this keep this team a little bit, uh, you know, a little harder to read. Yeah. We just had Corey Joseph in here, and uh, – 
he kind of, he don't even know he did it, but he just, he put an emphasis on training camp. Like you're talking about what you guys are about to build. How important is that? Cause from now, so I'm looking in, I'm like, Oh, it's camp. They'll be ready to go in a month. Yeah. But th- th- that's when it goes down. Huh? Just the, the <laughs> nucleus and I mean, for us, you mm-hmm. know, me and Corey and maybe Chris, but you know, the other guys, they've, they've been doing this and been here and they're going to be our teachers and, and, and try to get us, you know, in the right spot. Your name, your name has come up over the last, I don't know. Three to four years out here, um, as someone who might be able to fit in here, it, it, had you heard anything like that over over the course of you know the recent past, or have the, have the Warriors been on your radar? I mean, um, it's hard to say. I I, I don't watch Warriors basketball, right. cause, <laughs> you know. I think everybody watches it, you know. But um, and to hear to hear things, you hear things, but you know. In the league, you, know, you really can't believe anything. Right. You just got to go out there and do whatever. Do I think I do? I think I'm a missing piece. I, possibly, possibly. You know. So you talk about year 18. You want to win, and uh, I just want to know, man, I, uh, how much do you want that ring? Like, do, do, you know what I'm saying? Do you think about that a lot? Like, I want that bling. I mean, when you when you play this long and and you've been around locker rooms and with young kids and all that stuff, it's like at some point, like. What are you doing it for? Mm. You know, what what am I still here for? Um, you know, my kids are young, you know, I'm away from family and and ultimately you play to win. You don't play just to play. I mean, some people, you know, right. play for different reasons or have different accomplishments. But for me, you know, at thirty seven years old, it's just to to win a championship, you know? And I think anybody anybody that tells you different is not really a competitor. Did you have any other teams that you felt like had a window to win a title this year that, that were interested in you or vice versa? I did. I did, but this one just, just felt different. Did it? Just felt different. Real quick, what do, you, what do you think about just Drew Holiday going to the Celtics, Damian Lillard going to the, uh, going to the Bucks? Uh, guys have left the Western Conference. At least Damian has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it's good to see him go. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, um, Drew is a, is a is a great player. Boston has a has a has a really good player on their hands. I think he was one of the most important players on that Milwaukee team that won the championship. Personally, mm. um, if I mean, I'm you know, don't kill me, but right. I think he might have been the most important person on that team. Um, you know, with um with Dame, like I said, I think the biggest part for us you know selfishly it's just good getting them out of the west but, right um i don't i don't know i don't know how that's going to work i don't know you know how the cohesion is going to be be there early um um chris middleton who's still there i mean i don't know how right. that affects his his offensive game you know um we'll see i mean you know they have they have they have things to iron out too the whole league is different yeah man, and, and it's good it's fun it's fun to see it um you know, we we don't know. I mean, it's it's about whoever can get it together the quickest, and um, hopefully it's us. Let me ask you a quick personal question: Do you do much? Because I'm trying to quit. I'm I'm an addict. Social media, to Twitter, and uh, are you on there a lot? Yes, but <laughs> okay. this is what I'm saying. I appreciate I, honesty. I'm being honest, but I I really had to check myself on on Man. The social media. It's like, and this is where I'm going. The reason I ask you is, and I don't need your answer. Steph and Magic, like, why do we do? Th- why do we got to put yeah. the greats together? Like, when you see that stuff as a player, are you like, what, what? What's the win? I mean, honestly, Steph is the ultimate competitor, right? Like, he, why would you ask any person if are they better than somebody else? <laughs> I'm better than him. If they yeah. ask, he gonna say the I, same thing. You know, <laughs> so it's like, what do you expect them to say? No, I'm not better than this guy. This guy, like, come on, he's one of the greatest players to play this game, and so is so is Magic, respectfully. But like. The reason they're that good is because they're, they're competitive. So who cares, man? <laughs> At the end of the day, that's all. They're not even the same player. Magic's like right. ten feet taller and stuff. Right, right. Hey, uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Rudy. Really appreciate you stopping by, man. Uh, uh, and good luck to you. I hope you make the team and and contribute. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's Rudy Gay. Entering his eighteenth. You said eighteenth year. Eighteen. Eighteenth. Man. Eighteenth year. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You don't stick around eighteen years unless you take care of yourself and are a professional. Uh, Rudy Gay's always been a class yeah. act. And he wants that ring, Stoney. Since he's uh, since his days in Memphis, actually.